Hey, what's up guys? So welcome to today's video. Today we are going to add a quest system. As you can see here, if I click on F, I got the food. And when that's done, I get a reward. Same thing for wood. And it keeps the process as well and persisting as well. And during multiple saves. So as you can see, it saves the system. So let's get uh, to the actual scene setup. So this is the UI. And in the UI, I have a button to show and hide the actual quest uh, panel, if we can call it. Uh, this is actually quite simple, I just have a small script that takes this as game object and then just doubles the visibility on and off. Alright, so that's it, that's it. And then I've got two UI, one for the actual um, food and one for the food display. Uh, you can feel free to just ignore this. Okay. This UI is not important. So then for the actual cards, here it is. It's in the actual prefabs folder, not here, sorry. Rather here, prefabs. So this is the quest item. And here the quest panel has a vertical diagram. And here is the actual quest card, which contains the quest card script. And here we've got an icon. We've got the title, we've got the subtitle, a progress display, as well as the actual slider for each um, quest. So that's about it for the UI setup. And here are the managers that I have. So I have the economy manager. This is a reference to previous videos. Uh, you'll see the link up here right now on top. Click it to follow this. And this is the quest manager that we are going to look at in a few as well as the gathering script which is just this you'll have to replace with your own script all right so let's get to the going side of things so here is the quest script of the object as you can see you've got the variables for the actual thumbnail title description uh, the reward uh, which is from the economy counter uh, take a look at the video popped up here and then we also have the amount you can pay. So this provides us with a guide for the progression. And uh, now this is the gather script, which is again quite simple. Uh, we just have we just check when you click on J or F to trigger the actual um, delegates that are responsible to trigger the uh, quest events. And usually you have this line whenever you want to reward the player with the quest progression okay so this is for the gather wood and this is for the gather food and now here is the quest card so this is also very simple it just has two references one for the script of the object and one for an identification of the quest and then we have the ui references an initialized method that just initializes all of the ui and sets the references to these two and if we refresh, uh, this method just refreshes the progress display and the progress bar. Moving on to the quest manager script, here we have the, dele the delegate responsible for the progression of each quest. As you can see here, on Void Awake, I subscribe to it using the onQuestComplete method that we're going to see. And we also have a singleton pattern here for the quest manager so we can access it. And then we just have a quest database. This is to store what quest we've already done and what quest we didn't do yet. Okay, so this is going to be stored in a JSON format in a file. Uh, as you can see, here is the name of the file, questdb.db. And then we have a reference to the actual card prefab and the transform as to where we are going to instantiate this prefab. And then a dictionary that just links the cards prefab to the actual quest that they are referencing and then this is just to return the food path and the directory path and void awake is this one so on awake we also load the quest we'll see that in a few and then here is void start uh, void start we just instantiate all of the quest um, for cards that we have uh, we also have to check whether or not we completed them or not if we did complete it we will not be displayed the quest and then void destroy and here is the void 
on quest complete which takes in this crypto option and then checks if we actually can still use this quest so let's say one was marked as complete then this will not trigger if not then we try and get the quest card we increment the completed count and we refresh the display of the UI and then we check if it's complete if it is completed we add our rewards and then we also remove the card and destroy it and don't forget we have to save the actual database of the quest as well yeah so now uh, here is the actual method to save and load the database uh, it's basically just to read and write the actual quest db object to a json file that's it and then we just check whether or not the file is actually present or not here it will if it is then we don't do anything we just read or write and if it's not then we create a new directory or file and this method is just for um, editor purposes only if for instance you have to delete say file quickly and then moving on to the actual quest db object so as you can see here we just have a list of quest ids and then we have some methods to add quests and to get a quest these uses the search result quest id so the search result is an asset that i've made um, there will be a link to this in the description down below if you want to check it out basically it allows us to return a value in a safe manner so as you can see here uh, i return error with a message but if we have the quest that we want i just return it as a success so then you can just uh, look up if it's an error or not if you are accessing the variable which is a safe and clean way of doing it and then lastly here is the quest id object which contains the quest name the completed count and the maximum count that you have so for instance if you have a quest that lets you do gather 10 woods then this would be 10 and then this would keep track of how much wood you've gathered and then a boolean that just returns true if you've completed the quest so so if you followed this tutorial then you should be able to have a fully working quest system where you can add or remove a different quest that you want okay you just have to come here and create a new quest scriptural object and then fill in the blanks here and that's it so now if you find this video helpful do subscribe to my channel leave a like if you have not already and if you've got any suggestions or comments do feel free to leave them in the comments below and on this note don't forget to check out my other videos and yeah so i'll see you on the next one bye